Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna as usual do our Bitcoin technical analysis, we will go through all the time frames, but first before we start I have two announcements today. So first off we have now a co-work with Dudex, so if you want to trade on Dudex, this is another leverage exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and Ethereum up to 100x leverage and if you're using my register link that you find down below here in the video description of this YouTube video you will get instantly $10 sign up bonus if you use my referral link to Dudex and also if you put a first deposit of at least 0.2 Bitcoin you will get an additional $100 bonus so if you're interested also in dudex then make sure to use my referral link that you find down below here in the video description instantly you will get ten dollars plus one hundred dollar extra if you put a first deposit of 0 0.2 Bitcoin and the second announcement is that today we're gonna do our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway subscription video sponsored by BTArt so make sure to subscribe here on YouTube also over on Twitch if you have Twitch because we are always doing the live streams over there and this is also where we're gonna announce then the winner so make sure to subscribe here and also to participate on today's subscription video the video will be online later there you have to comment and also put your Bitcoin address to participate on our Bitcoin giveaway. All right, guys, and now we can start with our daily TA because Bitcoin is having a little breather here after bouncing here from this $11,350 support. And currently what I don't like is that we are still fighting our new resistance. So the previous support, this red line that you can see here, is now our new resistance as it is currently. So right now at the time of recording we are coming up along here the new resistance. We are testing it and here in the one hour you can see that currently we are getting rejected from the 200 moving average and the 20 and 50 moving averages are down below here close to the support currently of around 11,624. So I still think there is a high chance that we could go up again here towards 12k and retest here this area. Maybe even go up here towards 12,600 to retest the main resistance up here and hopefully also break it. But right now at the time of recording it looks like that Bitcoin could potentially have another rejection here at our new resistance if this one is getting confirmed here and also it looks like that we could see potentially this 11k area once more. So I still think that the correction is not over yet even though it looks like today that we're gearing up here for another retest of 12 Okay, also overall the crypto market is doing quite well today. We are seeing everything in green again. Let's hope that this will be sustainable and we're not going down towards our bearish targets. But of course sooner or later we will go potentially down to retest the 10 level and it would be better if we're going now to retest and confirm the new support at around 10k close the CME gap that we have there at $9,600 down here and then start a parabolic run to the upside but currently everything is looking like that we could see some further pushes to the downside even though we are trying to come up again here towards 12k again and uh, also here the CME chart you can see that we don't have any new future gaps so we still have only this big one down here at $9,600 and uh, we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band because currently we are overshooting it to the upside and a little correction maybe down again towards 11,700 to 11,680 is possible. If we're gonna lose here the middle area then prepare to see again prices below $11,600 potentially to retest this 11,000 to 11,300 dollar area we also have the stochastic and macd which are looking quite toppy we could have a bearish cross here pretty soon so a retest of this eleven thousand six hundred dollar i think is very likely to come if we are definitely getting rejected here at our new resistance at eleven thousand eight hundred dollar 
if we go over into the four hour time frame here you can see that currently we are above the 20 moving average which is a bullish sign but also here we are getting rejected from the 50 moving average which is also where our new resistance is lining up here at eleven thousand eight hundred dollar the good thing is here that we are still trading above the 200 moving average which currently is at eleven thousand two hundred seventy this is my target in case that we're getting here heavy rejected and we're gonna see here a drop and also lose this eleven thousand six hundred dollar this would be my initial support target where I think Bitcoin could have another bounce to the upside if we're touching it at 200 moving average in the four hour. You see that also the RSI is now picking up again and we are trading again above the 50 level. So in theory, we are gearing up here for a potential breakout from $11,800 from the new resistance. But this is what we're going to have to see in the next couple of hours. Currently, it looks good, even though there could be also a major correction towards $11,000. You can see also my own indicator after we came down here to 11,370. We got a bit later here a buy signal and so far it's playing out as soon as I'm getting a sell signal or we're getting here into very overbought condition. Then I will inform you guys over on Twitch or on Discord. So that's why make sure that you subscribe also to the Twitch channel and also to our free Discord trading chat. Both links are here down below in the video description. So as long as I'm not getting here any kind of sell signal in overbought condition, I think we should be good to go to retest 12K. The only problem is really here the new resistance that we have currently at $11,800. Also, if we go over into the Bollinger Band here, you can see that currently we are right at the top. So right where our new resistance is lining up. So also here, if we're having a correction down to the middle line, prepare to retest $11,600. If we're going to lose it, then most likely we're going towards here $11,470. But currently it really looks like that we're gearing up for another retest of $11,800 and potentially also 12k we have the macd still shifted to the upside in the four hour which is good the only problem is here the stochastic which is looking toppy here so we can stay for a couple of hours up here but also it looks like that most likely here we are going to see a potential cool off first and now let's go over to the daily time frame because also here you can see that currently we are bouncing nicely from the 20 daily moving average also the rsi bounced successfully from the 50 level this is what you want to see during a bull market and so far we are maintaining important supports so right now the daily is still looking bullish even though we had to correct here a bit and also i got here a sell signal but I think as long as the trend is shifted to the upside, there is no need to short or try to catch a top because currently we're still in an uptrend and the trend is your friend. So the momentum is still clearly shifted to the upside. And if we go over to the CME chart, you can see that here we never came below the 20 daily moving average. So here we always stayed above and this is also looking very bullish to me even though we cooled off here now a bit and we're bouncing from the 50 level of course we also here have some room left to the downside maybe even down to 11k and also have the cme gap down at 9600 but as it is right now everything is still pointing out that we should see some more continuation to the upside and also if we open up the bollinger band in the daily you can see that currently we are trying to fight here the middle line so currently we're still struggling to break eleven thousand eight hundred dollar once it's done we could easily go towards twelve thousand one hundred dollar again here towards the top of the bollinger band but as long as we are not breaking here the midline of the bollinger band I think this could be also a potential top at least for the short to mid term and we could easily retrace back down here to retest this $11,400 area. Stochastic currently is oversold which is good the only problem is that the MACD is still shifted to the downside so also here we have a lot of room left to the downside so also here be prepared for both scenarios if we're coming down to 11,400 maybe take it as a long opportunity or at least start to scale in some longs because here we could see a potential bounce again to the upside if we are not able to break 11,800 right now and now we can open up the most important time frame here the weekly because here you can see that since many weeks now we broke out from this huge resistance here at ten thousand dollar currently we are still pumping but here of course this looks like that we could see a potential correction maybe down to the 20 weekly here at around 10k and then continue the parabolic move to the upside the only problem is that if the price is coming down to retest this 10k area this would be approximately 20 percent correction on bitcoin which 
could shake out a lot of weak hands and of course also people would get more into panic mode but as I told you in many videos my friends take it as a buy and long opportunity if we are coming down to those levels. I wouldn't even necessarily sell at this point here or short at this point even though there could be a big correction down to those levels but if we are coming down to those levels right now then take it as a long and buy opportunity because this could be really the last time that you're buying Bitcoin so cheap and of course we also have the RSI still quite in overbought condition so also here a little cool off towards the 50 level like we had in the daily is still possible and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we came back here into the middle area so complete retracement back down towards the middle area so between 10,000 and 9,700 is very likely and most likely will come sooner or later if not now maybe later but most of the times Bitcoin retraces always back down into the middle area of the Bollinger Bands, build up a support and then start to push again to the upside. And currently we also have the stochastic shifted to the downside. MACD is still looking good even though also here there could be a bearish cross if we are coming down to these levels but all in all everything is still looking good here also in the weekly so even if we see a correction down to those levels we will remain on our bullish uptrend and we should see new all-time highs in a very very close future all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget if you want to trade over on dudex bybit btr femex you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel and don't forget to tune in also over on discord the chat is completely for free and every one is welcome so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye